Welcome once again to Strange Historical Tales. Today we tread softly through the dim corridors of history to uncover a tale so unusual it blurs the boundaries between the here and now and the ever after. We delve into a case where justice wasn't just blind, but crossed into the realm beyond the grave. Consider, if you will, a murder mystery, not confined to the earthly bounds of courtroom walls, but one that extends into the ethereal. This is the story of the Greenbrier Ghost, a narrative where a mother's unwavering love for her daughter traverses beyond the silence of death. The question we pose today, can the departed indeed communicate the truth from the afterlife? Stay with us as we unfold a tale where the whispers of the dead guide the scales of justice. In the serene yet chilling winter of 1897, in the quiet reaches of Greenbrier County, West Virginia, the fabric of reality seemed to thin with the sudden and mysterious death of Zona Heaster Shoe. Discovered lifeless in her home, the initial rush of the local doctor's examination conducted under the gaze of a distraught husband, hastily attributed her demise to natural causes. Yet this premature conclusion was destined for scrutiny. Enter Erasmus Shu, the blacksmith husband with a shadowed past, whose subsequent actions cast long, suspicious shadows that whispered among the town folk. Amidst the shroud of grief, Mary Jane Heaster, Zona's mother, found herself in a nocturnal communion with the beyond, for four consecutive nights, the spirit of Zona visited, not as an ephemeral wisp, but as a vivid, articulating presence eager to divulge the grim secrets of her untimely end. With each spectral visit, the veil was lifted further. Zona recounted the harrowing tale of her demise at the hands of Erasmus, detailing a violent altercation that culminated in her death from a broken neck. Urged by the spirit's pleas, Mary Jane's resolve crystallized compelled to challenge the hastily drawn conclusions and impel the authorities to cast a deeper, darker gaze into the matter. These encounters, haunting in their clarity, galvanized Mary Jane to seek justice for her daughter, stirring the quiet community out of complacency and into the heart of a mystery intertwined with the supernatural. Driven by the spectral revelations of her daughter, Mary Jane Heaster was resolute in her quest for justice. With unwavering belief, Fortified by each visitation's vivid details, she confronted the local authorities with a plea that could not be ignored, an earnest call for the veils of truth to be lifted once more. Initial skepticism met Mary Jane's claims, rooted as they were in the realm of the supernatural. Yet the tide of disbelief began to turn when Dr. George Knapp, the physician who first examined Zona, admitted the limitations of his earlier assessment. Under the pressure of a grieving husband, the doctor had conducted only a cursory examination, one now shrouded in doubt and regret. This confession, coupled with Mary Jane's persistent pleas, compelled the authorities to reconsider. The soil of Greenbrier County would once again yield its secrets. The decision was made to exhume Zona's body. This act, sanctioned by the specter of potential justice missed, aimed to bring clarity to the whispered accusations from beyond the grave setting the stage for revelations that would ripple through the annals of legal and paranormal history. When the earth was disturbed to revisit the remains of Zona Heaster Shoe, what lay beneath was a tale not of rest, but of dark revelations. The meticulous exhumation and subsequent autopsy peeled back the veneer of natural death to expose a grim tableau of violence. It was discovered with undeniable clarity that Zona had not succumbed to fate's gentle call but had been the victim of a brutal strangulation. Her neck broken, her windpipe crushed under the force of a murderer's grip. Detailed further examination revealed telltale bruising around her neck, the marks of fingers that spoke louder than any ghostly whisper could. These stark findings shattered the initial conclusions of natural causes, aligning instead with the spectral testimony that had haunted Mary Jane Heaster's nights. This pivotal moment in the autopsy not only recast Zona's death, but also spotlighted Erasmus Shue, her once mourning husband, now the prime suspect. With the shadows of doubt cast away by the light of forensic truth, the focus narrowed to Erasmus Shue. Authorities began peeling back the layers of his past, uncovering a pattern of troubling behaviors and mysterious circumstances surrounding his previous matrimonial entanglements. 
Each fact uncovered added depth to the portrait of a man who may have walked in the guise of a grieving widower, but perhaps hid the soul of a callous felon. Before Zona, Erasmus Shu had bound himself in matrimony twice, each union shrouded in its own shadow of distress. His first marriage dissolved in the acrid aftermath of allegations of cruelty, a disturbing precursor to what was to come. The second marriage ended abruptly with the mysterious death of his wife, purportedly from a tragic fall. However, the murmur of foul play whispered through the community, painting a sinister portrait of a man perhaps too familiar with the darker inclinations of human nature. In the days following Zona's death, Erasmus's demeanor at her funeral raised eyebrows and suspicions alike. His peculiar insistence on adorning her with a scarf, allegedly her favorite, and propping her neck with pillows struck many as a macabre act of affection. Actions later suspected of concealing the violent bruises on her neck. His emotional swings from profound grief to an eerie calm painted a picture of a man wrestling with more than just loss. As the veil of grief lifted, voices from within the community began to challenge the facade Erasmus had presented. Testimonies emerged, each contradicting his account of the events surrounding Zona's demise. Discrepancies in his alibis for the day she died became apparent, aligning too conveniently with the forensic truths unearthed by the autopsy. Together, these elements wove a damning narrative, positioning Erasmus not as the bereaved husband he portrayed, but as the architect of a grim and fatal deception. In the hushed courtroom where Erasmus Shu stood trial for the murder of his wife, Zona, the air was thick, not just with the anticipation of justice, but with the whispers of the supernatural. The trial became a singular event in legal history, hinged on the extraordinary testimony of Zona's ghost as relayed by her mother, Mary Jane Heaster. This narrative pushed the boundaries of traditional legal proceedings and ignited a firestorm of debate across the nation. Though never formally admitted as evidence, the spectral story pervaded the courtroom, influencing the jury's perceptions and the broader community discourse. This case stands as a rare instance in American jurisprudence where the ethereal assertions of a ghost swayed the scales of justice. Legal scholars and practitioners hotly debated the ramifications, pondering the integrity of verdicts swayed by hearsay mingled with the paranormal. Erasmus's trial spurred a broader dialogue about the intersection of evidence, belief, and justice. It challenged the admissibility of testimony and how deeply personal convictions and local folklore can influence judicial outcomes. Questions about the reliability of eyewitness accounts gained new dimensions when those accounts ventured into the realm of the paranormal. The tale of the Greenbrier ghost remains a haunting testament to the mysterious interplay between the seen and the unseen, the known and the unknown. It challenges the norms of legal evidence and invites us to reflect on how deeply held beliefs can shape our interpretations of justice. Thank you for joining us on this enigmatic journey through the shadows of history with strange historical tales. If this story of legal and spectral intersections has intrigued you, Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share your thoughts. Do you believe the supernatural can influence real-world events? Is there more to our reality than what is seen? Stay tuned for more tales where the past whispers secrets that are stranger than fiction. Remember to hit the bell icon to never miss an episode as we continue to explore the darkest corners of history.